All right, we're back. I went ahead and saved the game right here, and we're gonna go. And well, first we're gonna take we're gonna take a rest. It's time to rest. Fridas, that's Friday, I believe. And this will be our little room here. We're gonna do some crazy grinding stuff. We're gonna go around to different caves. We're gonna get whatever we can. Of course, very carefully, we're gonna take things that is not considered stealing from the Mage's Guild. It's like we've learned our lesson. Ooh, repair hammers. I'll take the torch too. We don't need it for much longer. Once the vampirism sets in, we'll be able to see crystal clear at night. <laughs> Take this stuff. Greetings. Ooh, soul gems. I'm gonna need these. Take the crystal balls. Take the crystal balls too. Let me take one of these alembics. What else? Yes, yes. Cloth, take that. All the money we can get. We're also going to be like, <laughs> it's time to start living, it's time to start living. We have to test this house. I don't know if this stuff actually stays. So we're going to load it up as if it does, see how it goes. This is where I've been putting food, so I'm going to continue with putting food in here. Let's be up where we put food. And um, let's see, let's see. Where is all my food? Here, we just got some cheese wedges, some grapes. Oh, we want to keep the Nern root on us. We can put, we can put these in here. <clears throat> and for now, I'm gonna sell the vampire dust because it's good profits. Once I know stuff stays here, we'll start putting in like clothing and all that stuff. Let's go to a shop, make some sales. I have to keep casting this spell constantly to get my restoration skill up. It hasn't increased yet, which kind of worries me a little bit. Greetings, Dunbar. Greetings. Actually, the shops are over here. I'm trying to think of the order in which we should do things. So, since it's going to be a while, we might as well go ahead and start enchanting gear and stuff like that. Oh, the shop's not open yet. We'll just wait here and cast this heal spell. Actually, I think the... We'll wait for these shops to open. I wonder what time they actually open at. Oh, they're open. <laughs> what time is it? I'll check. 8 a.m. I think is when they open. Go on. I offer the finest goods and the lowest prices in all. You've made. Yep. Ooh, a silver short sword. It's the same as the silver dagger, and it's heavier, so I'd rather just stick with the silver dagger. We need silver stuff for ghosts and stuff like that. That's more than I would usually pay. That's a fair deal. You drive, you drive a hard bargain. Mm -hmm. You've made a good bit of gold. That's it. That's a fair. 
Sorry, I'm gonna cut her off a lot. You got a great deal. That's more than I would usually pay. That seems a fair price. That seems a fair price. We're not gonna need that. That seems a fair price. You've got a great deal there. That's... That's... You... You drop... And... Appreciate your business. Appreciate you. Let's head off to our first adventure. Leave me alone. Okay. So we're just gonna find a random cave. We're gonna go loot it. In this process, let's hope we don't die. So let's take a look at the map. Let's just head north. There's gotta be a cave up north somewhere here. Magically, I'm still heading west. I do see a cave. <clears throat> Getting stuck on rocks. There's also a little encampment up here as well. I'm probably not going to be summoning my skeleton too much because we need re restoration points. So I'll be able to use this heal spell on myself and actually get <laughs> Radhead Gold. Quick Water Cave. Hopefully, there is no water in the Quick Water Cave. Okay, we got imps. Something's over here. Oh! <laughs> Even though there's creatures in here, when we get to a certain point there should be a treasure chest. But generally I don't like to raid caves with creatures. Especially loud impy creatures like that. But we are taking it a little slow as this is a permadeath run. There's a chest. here. More ants. <laughs> this is 
noise sucks. bunch of garbage in here. This is a bunch of garbage. I think that's it for this cave too. Come on restoration skill, what's wrong with you? There we go. That needs to be up to 50. I think it's like 30 something. 33. I forgot which way. No, oh, here we go. So, fatigue. That is a thing. Um. Let's see here. Uh, agility is uh, our total fatigue, so... It's a rat. <clears throat> we'll have to start putting points in agility. Um, Strength, like Magicka, and Agility. But we do have enough gold now, we can head back to the Imperial City and enchant our first item. We'll go to this encampment and see who this is here, and maybe get, get some items. Maybe there's bandits here, or something like that. Somebody looks like a bandit. Oh. Cave up here to the northwest. We still got plenty of room to carry stuff. Let's go check it out. Gosh, I can't go up that way. Cave in the water? Above the water? Don't actually see the cave yet. Go above the water, I guess. We got a wolf. Here's the cave. Let's check this place out. 
Hopefully there's people in it. For their armor. Hmm. What is this? Dawn is breaking. This is a quest cave, obviously. We should not be in here. Let's go. I don't want to mess anything up, you know? Okay, let's head back. Let's go back to the Imperial uh, City. We'll craft up an amulet or something. A ring. Give us some magicka. Let me just double check and make sure I have a greater soul gem with a greater soul in it. I believe I do. A grand soul gem. Yep. It's a grand soul gem with a greater soul in it. Is there such a thing as a grand soul? Uh oh. That'll be fine. Start with this mine yet? No. Oh, there's gonna be goblins in it. Well, they'll have weapons. Let's kill a goblin. Let's at least just kill this one. weapon go that was the whole reason I fought that guy to get his weapon and his weapon just disappeared oh well we get another chance at this guy up here you don't have a weapon sneak. Okay, we can also rest. Cool. My heal spell is not making noise. That does happen sometimes. It will kick back in eventually here. At the Arcane University, there's beds we can sleep in. Mage's quarters. 
places for all of us mages to sleep. And uh, we'll be able to level up there. And we'll definitely get some... Definitely put a point or two in agility. Because we can, once again, we can always enchant an item. I want to be ready. I don't necessarily want to continue on with the quest line because it's going to be extremely difficult. This is some hard stuff we'll be facing, so I want to be ready. Some tough hombres. Oh, here's a bandit. You gonna say anything or are you just gonna attack? Chainmail territory now. Hey, where were you, buddy, a few minutes ago? I was getting attacked. anything on him except the weapon which was like a iron rusty weapon it's not gonna sell for very much but that's what we do so that bandit had chainmail gear on so as we level up things will get harder they'll have better gear better gear sells for more money so when you're thinking this is gonna take forever what's he doing it's actually not gonna be so bad we'll be able to sell some expensive gear more expensive gear. Uh, it gets even better when we're up into uh, when enemies are dropping glass and ebony stuff. But we'll be... I mean, we're about to level up again, so we're getting... We're making the, the good progress. Coming this far without dying does feel pretty good. I'm not a fan of like the times when I have to use a potion, but I haven't set any rules against that. But it is kind of silly, the thought, the concept, like everything pauses. It's like, hold on, let me wait, just wait, let me take this potion, restore my health. But as uh, stated earlier on, episode 3, I'm not like buying potions or anything like that. If I happen to have them, if I need them, that's fine. But I'm not actively seeking them. And we are running out, I noticed. And we can only take like 4 or 5 every so often. It'll happen. I'll die eventually. 
Ah, you must be the Arcane University's newest edition. Do I have 900 golds? Oh no, 899. I have to go to the market district first. I have to sell the stuff I have. And I need to get this restoration skill up. I keep forgetting. That's going to be the most time consuming part. How are you? Well met. We still got time. Looks like it's about to storm though. All again. visitors to the Imperial Palace are asked to keep their voices. Sure is talkative today. A lot of people talking in the sound. Welcome to a fighting chance. I'm Rosan, proprietor. I sell the best swords in the city, and I offer advanced training for armorers. I like Rosan. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. An excellent bargain. made a good bit of gold. A good... You drive a hard bargain. A fine transaction. A fine transaction. A good... I appreciate your business. Thank you. Farewell. See ya. Back to the Arcane University. What? What is it now? I wonder if the spell increases faster if you actually have damage to heal. Because if not. Respect for the Imperial Palace. Sorry. I forgot. If not, I'll uh just equip the other heal spell. Good evening. Is now a good time to talk? I've got a moment, but little more. What do you mean? Good evening. Hello.
Wait a minute. This is wrong. I don't need that place. I need the armor enchantment place. But let's go ahead and rest up. While I'm we're very here. happy to make your acquaintance. No, we'll do that after. Hello. Greetings, apprentice. Because I don't know when I'm going to turn into a vampire at this point. It's going to be soon. Practice rooms. The Chironasium. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it's called or pronounced. Welcome to the Chironasium. Chironasium. Can I help you? This guy has a spell too. Oh no, he doesn't. Never mind. Be seeing you. That's a thousand two hundred gold or nine hundred. I don't understand. Okay. I don't know how much it costs, but we now have this ring. So check this out. Magica ring gives us nine intelligence all the time. So right now we have one hundred and two Magica. Equip this bad boy. We're up to 120 magicka. Good. Let's go rest. I also just remembered that the only reason my fatigue is actually so low right now is because we have porphyric hemophilia, the vampire's disease. So I'm not going to put a point into it yet. But we'll rest until the morning. Um, is this the day? Strength, uh, yikes. Our intelligence is not going to go up good. But there, that, there it is. That's how we're going to do it. Strength, intelligence, willpower. So, 122, jeez. You know, we might as well, like... Yes? It's raining all the time. Greetings, apprentice. Might as well start our questing, right? Hold up. Four hundred and twenty-two. Yikes! We're gonna have to enchant like everything. Why did I come in here again? Can't open that. Well met. I can take those. I'm starting to actually like uh, get confused. What should I do? Should I go questing? Or should I... We'll most certainly die if I was to go off on the quests. Or we could stick to the plan. Keep getting this, uh... Magicka fortified. Yeah. 
haven't gone off this way at all. I guess we'll go over this direction and see what kind of caves and stuff are over here. See what kind of money we can acquire. See what kind of trouble we could get into. We are in Lag Central. Actually, it is at 36 minutes. Maybe I should call this an episode here. Let's go ahead and stop at the port. Oh, didn't quite make it. We'll go ahead and conclude this episode right here on the docks. Um, yeah, when we come back, we'll continue, um, I guess, just kind of farming stuff, getting gold and stuff like that. So, all right, guys, thanks for tuning in. We're heading out. See you later.